viewers this is just fake network tv a place where you can get the latest information about nigerian news for those who subscribe i want to say a very big thank you to you and we'll say god bless you for subscribing and now the news in details article declares readiness to work with buhari government to protect nigerians former people's democratic party pdp presidential candidate article abubaka on thursday declared his readiness to work with any willing persons in ensuring the safety of Nigerians. Atiku made the declaration while explaining why he asked the federal government to restrict flights when the country is recorded its first in this case. He urged the federal government to come up with policies geared towards protecting Nigerians. He recalled that the Minister of Health, Dr. Sagi, had a few weeks ago confirmed the presence of this in Nigeria called coronavirus. Following Dr. Osage's disclosure, Atiku had urged the government to restrict flights into Nigeria. However, the former vice president urged the government to hear on the side of caution by ensuring adequate protection of Nigerians from further contracting it, which is the virus. In a series of tweets, Atiku wrote two weeks ago, when Ash Nigeria recorded its in-depth case of this virus, I had calls to urge the federal government to restrict flights from nations with a huge, with a high prevalence of the plague. This in line with global best practices. This is a patriotic call on the federal government of Nigeria to take every reasonable step to protect the citizens of Nigeria by temporarily suspending flights to and fro from such country until we build up our ability to obtain this plague. Our borders should, however, be open to Nigerian citizens regardless of their status. Despite the commendable effort of our patriotic health officials, it will be recalled that to date we are yet to identify or relocate multiple passengers who flew in with the index case from Hili. They could be anywhere. We must export here on the side of caution. We cannot afford to broaden the possibility of future infections. The economic impact of the widespread infestations of these in Nigeria will be catastrophic and will affect our national security and status as Africans' leading economy. I hope that every political and any other differences be put aside. On my part, I am forced in Nigeria. I am willing and ready to work with anybody at any time, at whatever cost, to ensure the safety of this country, which is the only country we have to call our home and our peoples. We must act now. We must put Nigeria and our citizens first. We must ensure that our national policy is deliberately tailored to protect our most excellent national resources, the great Nigerian people. Wow, this is a very great word from Atiku Abubakar. At least with this issue, he is ready to support Mr. Muhammad, I mean President Muhammad Buhari. Sorry, and that's a very good thing. It's always good to work together. It's always good to work hand in hand together. You know, and then somebody said the problem we have today in Nigeria, it is the tribe that is in charge of our fears. I mean, the Fulani tribe with the lowest mental capacity in the world. This is raving. The rave ravaging in the world, but here instead of our government to do the needful to stem the tide, they are waiting for when this will hit us hard. That is when they will start sharing millions of Nigerians and telling us that they are fighting it. The thing is, I think Nigeria is really trying their best right now. Out of all the countries, we can see that Nigeria as are capable of it. Look at when this so-called Ebola came up, and uh, you know. Nigerian lead Nigeria government they actually cop all those things. I think they are ready for it. And also, considering the weather that we have in Nigeria, 
those things cannot stay at all. So the good thing is that Atiku Abubakar is coming up supporting President Muhammad Buhari. That's a very good one from Atiku at Abubakar. And if they could actually work hand in hand, that's a very supportive one so far. So guys, what do you think? What is your own take? Your comment is highly appreciated. Kindly drop your comment in the comment section. God bless you. Amen. Bye.